What's poll question today, Seaton? This one's for Paulie. If you were going to buy stock in dot, 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 or you could buy stock in dot, 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 the WNBA, uh, the other options here, MLS, MMA, other, neither, neither. Is there another sport on there? Lacrosse, maybe, perhaps? Mm. Uh, I would say MMA. You would? That's a billion-dollar industry. But are you buying it high? Still buying it. It's a billion-dollar industry. Uh, I mean, WNBA has to build off this momentum. Just because you have Caitlin Clark, you know, you still have to have people watching these games, going to these games. You know, when Gretzky came to the LA Kings, you had a lot of southern states that wanted to have hockey franchises. They wanted Gretzky coming through town. Well, how many times is he coming through town? That's where you have to build a league that people want to see. And Caitlin Clark comes in, a lot of eyeballs on the league. And a lot of young talent there. Now you want to see if those people who wanted to see her in college want to see her as a professional. I think that's going to be the key. And then they've talked about expansion with the WNBA. And that will also help because when you travel, if you can do like an East Coast swing or a West Coast swing, now you're going to cut down on the travel costs instead of going you know, here for one game and then back that you have other franchises, so they might add you know, two more teams here. But Caitlin Clark getting uh, taken number one last night, no surprise, and uh, she spoke about the honor. I think the biggest thing is like I always just believed in myself. I went to Iowa with the goal of taking us to the Final Four. We did it twice. We went to two national championships, four Big Ten championships. Yeah, there's my teammates. They're pretty awesome. And I think just a belief in myself, and my parents always instilled confidence in me. Uh, from a young age when I was a young girl, and I, I think that's something a lot of young girls can learn to have, and I think people supporting them certainly helps. So, yeah, I think the biggest thing is the confidence, but I told my mom before this is like, you know, I earned it, and that's why I'm so proud of it. Good. Happy. Yeah, this is a kind of a coronation, culmination of a lot of things that have happened and allowed her to become the focal point of women's college basketball. Now can you take that to the WNBA? Are you as curious in the WNBA? They're not a very good team. That's the reason why they have the number one overall pick. In fact, uh, the Las Vegas Aces are your big favorites there. The New York Liberty, uh, Connecticut Sun, Seattle Storm, Indiana Fever, way down the list. But Caitlin Clark, Leah Boston, that's pretty good inside-outside combination. And maybe it'll be fun for people to watch, go out of their way to find it. Uh, but the mothership is going to put them front and center. That helps out. You want to be able to, like the Live Tour doesn't have distribution. If, if, if you said, how do you find it? I go, um, I think on the CW, but I don't even know if that's true. Uh, do I watch it on YouTube? You got to have distribution. I mean, without that, you can't survive. You know, the XFL, the UFL, uh, having ESPN there or Fox involved in it you got to have that. People can watch. And let's face it, we do watch. We want movement. We want something that's going on on a nightly basis. And you tune into something. And hopefully people will be tuning into this because they're still curious. But you got to be curious about everybody else or other teams in the league and other players in the league. You have to, you know, totally commit to that. You can't just go, I'm going to make this secular and it's only going to be about Caitlin Clark. The league doesn't, you know, they, they don't benefit off of this as much as you would hope that they would. And there's some, there's some names there, and I think that's important. But there have been names here. The WNBA has been around for a long, long time, and you've had some great players. Um, so that's where I'm curious about, can you get, if you don't get it now, I wonder if you will get it, because this is the biggest marketing ploy that you have, and she'll be coming to a city near you. Yes, Marvin. So after the WNBA season, do you have Caitlin Clark come back and host SNL to just keep it rolling? Well, I don't. I'm not going to program for Saturday Night Live, but you should no. Uh, it depends on how popular she is. Yeah. I. I mean, Jake from State Farm was pretty popular last night too. He's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, come on, Jake. Like, do you have to hug everybody backstage? Yes, yeah, Eden. Yeah, it does depend on how comfortable Caitlin Clark is. I know she's the the face of women's college basketball and certainly, you know, of Iowa, but how comfortable she is with the spotlight and being out front long term 
you know, especially in like situations outside of basketball. I didn't think she looked comfortable last night. Which it might sound weird because she knew she was going to be the number one pick. Everybody loves, you know, seeing her. But she strikes me as the kind of person who is comfortable doing what she does. Not talking about what she does. Or sitting there where everybody's, you know, all eyes are on her and the focus on her. And all she's doing is sitting there looking at her phone. But when she's playing basketball, she's in her element. And you'll find that with athletes. They... You'll find guys or, you know, women who are shy, and then you put them, uh, you know, in their world, their sports world, in their vacuum, and then you see that personality. And that was the feeling I got watching last night because she was just sitting there, okay, and she was sitting sort of by herself. And, uh, you know, they kept her around, too, did a couple interviews, just say, hey, coming up, round two, and we'll talk to Caitlin Clark. So they were doing their best to kind of, Keep that momentum going. Get her reaction to the later round picks. <laughs> Any surprises for her? 